So in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to make the effect you can see in this shot. So to do this effect, you need a sticker and a car body. So first of all, select the sticker and use the shrink wrap modifier to wrap it onto the car. Use projection and try moving the object in the viewport to find out on which axis you need to project the sticker. Then on the direction, pick both positive and negative to make sure the sticker will wrap onto the body no matter where it is. Now you can add a solidify modifier and just add a bit of thickness to it and a bevel modifier to bevel the edges. If you have simplify enabled, the subdivision might get messed up, so just disable that for now. Now you can add the subdivision surface modifier, and then afterwards go into the bevel modifier again, set the segments to 2 and the profile to 1, and start adjusting the offset of the bevel. This will make the edges sharper or more soft. You can also change the angle to make sure it's only the edges you want to sharpen that get sharpened. I just adjusted the thickness a bit because I thought it was too thick. When you're done, you can add a curve modifier. Now we just need to add the curve. Put the curve modifier above the subdivision. Now you can place the 3D cursor in the origin of the sticker and add a curve there. You can scale the curve on the y-axis to zero so it's flat. Move it forward and then rotate it around the pivot point. Now it's lining up with the side of the car. And you can start shaping it like the curve that you want the sticker to move in. Now you just need to apply the curve to the sticker. Select the sticker and in the curve modifier, select the curve. Maybe the direction is messed up for now, but just find the one where the stick is pointing in the right direction. You can always rotate the sticker by going into edit mode on the curve and then changing the mean tilt. Now you should have a setup that works. If you want the sticker to move on top of the curve, just push the curve closer to the body of the car. 